The drama of the week is a download from the BBC. Emergency, which service do you require? Police. Connecting you now. Police, what is the nature of your emergency? There's somebody in my house. And are you in the house yourself? No, I'm in my car. So why do you think... I was just arriving home, coming up to the house, only I've stopped because I can see a light on and somebody's moving about. Lauren Jackson? I am, yes. Thanks for coming. And that's your house over there, is it? The one with the light on, yes. And, and there's another light upstairs that's gone on, then off again while I've been here. There's definitely somebody in there. OK, OK, well, here's my colleague with his best friend. Oh, yeah. So right. if you could just give us a lend of your keys, we'll see what's going on. This is the police. Anybody here, show yourself. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Just keep hold of him, will you? Well, we've apprehended a man. A burglar? Had he broken in? No, he seems to have let himself in with a key. Claims he's your husband. Sorry. I should have let you know I was coming. I know I should. So he is? My husband. He is, yes. I just haven't been round for a while. Thank you. And I am sorry. It's OK, love. It's what we're here for. Bye. Bye, love. Bye. Bye. Hey. I should have rung you. I know I should. Look, I should have done all sorts. I'll take that key, please. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, love. I really am. And now get out. Well, now. Look, I know what I did was terrible. Worse than terrible. I mean, what's worse than terrible? I can't think of a word. Look, I'll, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Never. You want me to call those policemen back? No, no, there's no need for that. So come on, out. Look, please. I said. Look, I'm out. I'm out. Look, just listen to me for one minute. No. Tracy? Tracy? Are you in there? Just open the door, will you? I... If you don't, I'm going to have to break the glass. All right, then. Hi. Just how long are you going to stand there? Until you let me back in. Well, that's not going to happen. Look, forever, then. I'll be a permanent fixture like the fish pond. Doing all right, Ellie, the fish. Oh, love, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. For what? Are we talking about the way you left, or what you did before you left, or what you've done since, or...? All of or... it, everything. I'm sorry for everything. And that's what you're here for, is it? To tell me you're sorry? That, yeah. As well as... I just had to come back. I had to. I couldn't stay away any longer. I won't be long. Remember? <sighs> last thing you said to me nearly 11 months ago now. I'm just going to the shops for some beers. I won't be long. Yeah, and that's where I did go. You just didn't come back. I, I had every intention. It wasn't planned or anything. <laughs> You had every intention. But then... You know what happened? I'm sure your dad will have told you. You tell me anyway. Well, I will. Yeah. Only can I come in? I'm freezing out here. Tracy? Oh, God, no. Tracy, can you hear me? I'm, I'm going to call an ambulance, right? Um, just, um, well, keep keep breathing. Um, I'm calling them now. <sighs> okay. Well, what happened? I uh, went to the shop. Said hello to Marie behind the counter. I know you did. She told me. And that was when the mobile rings. And it's your dad. Hi. Yeah. How are you? I've been thinking about what we said. You asking me not to tell Lauren. Uh-huh. I'm afraid I don't think that would be very fair. Well, eh? Would it? I'd be siding with you against my own daughter. I've told you, I'll pay the money back. Every penny. <laughs> well, I hope so. But why I'm ringing you now is... Well, so you will have the chance to tell Lauren yourself. Own up. I would have thought that'd be the sort of thing a man would choose to do. Yeah, but why does she have to know at all? No. If I'm going to repay the money... Now look, then... never mind why. The fact is, she is going to. The only question...
question is which of us tells her. I suppose till then I was hoping you wouldn't find out that your dad would keep it between me and him. So you ran away? I suppose I did, yeah. Just got in the car and drove off. Not to anywhere in particular, just... Leaving me? Leaving the mess I'd made. But me as well. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's the stupidest thing. So you drove off. Go on. Uh, ended up... Well, it could have been anywhere, but as it happened, ended up in Brighton. Well, you couldn't have gone much further. But why did you take the money? Stealing from your father, why? I oh, know. After he'd given you a job, he promoted you. Oh, I know. Well, did, did he not pay you enough? Why, Ian, tell me? I, I never thought of it as stealing from him personally. Well, I don't care how you thought of it. You were stealing from the firm. It was his firm. You were stealing from him. Yeah, I did it because... You know, like, because it was so easy. He made it easy. Because he trusted you. You were his son-in-law, the one person he didn't think he'd have to be checking up on. It was a bad thing. I know it was. Uh, and what happened to it, the money you stole? Because whatever you spent it on, it wasn't me. It wasn't this house. Okay, yeah. Well, mostly it went on the GGs. Gambling? Yeah. Which you swore you'd given up, so that was another lie. Look, I am so sorry. I can't tell you how much. I don't know whether you can hear me, Trace, but um, you're in hospital and, and they say you're going to be all right. But they've had to tell the police and they're going to want to talk to you when you come round. Well, and, and talk to me as well, I suppose. Why Brighton, anyway? Place I knew, wasn't it? Been going there the past year or two, seeing buyers. We did a lot of business on that south coast. Still do. Good. Yeah. Business doing all right, is it? What I still don't get. There you were, driving, not knowing where to. What was I supposed to solve? You must have known Dad would tell me. It wasn't going to stay a secret. No, it, it was just like... Look, all that mattered was that I had to get away. Well, I certainly didn't matter, did I? Oh, come on. Well, did I? Sitting here, waiting, getting more and more worried till eventually I go round to the shop and, yeah, Marie remembered seeing you, but she didn't know anything else. So then I come back here and I wait some more. Lauren, I am so sorry. Look, I rang the police and the hospitals. I spent all night pacing about. It was only when I rang Dad that he put me in the picture. I'm sorry. Stop saying that! I don't know what else I can say. No, neither do I. And, and you've come back, why? Because you had to. I mean, what was that supposed to mean? Well, I... And don't tell me you thought I'd forgive you that. All you had to do was walk through that door and say sorry and that'd be it. No. Because there's no chance of that. No chance. Look, running away, that was the worst thing that I'd ever did. I'm more ashamed of that than I am of stealing from your dad. That was the longest night of my life. Waiting, wondering. I am sorry. And ringing you again and again. Why couldn't you at least have answered? Let me know you were alive. <laughs> Not again. Ian, I don't know where you are or what's going on, but if you're hearing this, can you please, please just ring me or text me anything? Just let me know. Oh, sorry. No can do. I didn't answer, cos... I didn't have an answer, did I? I didn't know what I could say to you. And never mind what I was going through. No, of course I minded. It was because I minded that I'd gone in the first place. Cos I couldn't face you. The eagle has landed. Yeah, but landed where? I have landed, my darling. About 50 yards from your front door. What? You're actually here, in Brighton? I told you I was coming. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't believe you. Well, I did, but, you know, anything could have happened. Ian's here, actually in Brighton. I gathered. Who's that? Sarah, my sister. She's come round for a drink. Hi, Ian. Hiya. I know you said you were coming. 
mean, but you might have changed your mind. You might have turned around and gone back to your wife. <sighs> well, um, I haven't. And she wouldn't have me if I did. So what's happened? I'll tell you in a minute. Pour me a whiskey, will you? I've been five hours non-stop motoring. And it's taken you the best part of a year to pluck up the courage to walk back in here? Yeah. Well, you know what? I wish you hadn't bothered, because it's taken me most of that time to get over what you did, and now... See, that's why I didn't ring you, because I knew you'd say don't come. I would have, yeah. I had to. I couldn't go on as I was, thinking about you. Wondering how you were. Dreaming about you, even. Dreaming about me? Honestly. Every night. Till it was driving me crazy, I just had to come back. There you go, lover. Cheers, Trace. Sarah. Thanks, Trace. I still can't believe it. You're telling me you've actually gone and left her? I'm here, aren't I? You've been here before, but you've always gone back. So, what's brought this about? Just tell us and then I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. Sarah! <laughs> She's found out about us and kicked you out? No. What then? I, I was in a shop buying some beer. And I suddenly thought, what am I doing? Why am I keeping alive a clapped out marriage when there's this wonderful woman I could be with? No. And which one's that? Hey, you. <laughs> so I got in the car and instead of going home, I drove due south. Oh, isn't he great? So doesn't your wife not know where you are? Oh, yes, yeah, she knows. Yeah. I stopped off on the way. Told her we were finished. You told her about me? Well, I told her I'd met someone else. Didn't go into details. And how did she take that? She wasn't too pleased. I'll bet. Well, she said she wasn't too surprised the way things had been between us. Then she called me a few choice names, which I will not repeat. Oh, must have been awful. Well, yeah, but, uh, had to be done. And she'll get over it. She's been sick of me for years. No, I just thought, what am I waiting for? Why am I wasting my life like this? I think you've been really brave. Well, hasn't he, Sarah? He has. OK, well, I know when I'm in the way. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Trace. Yeah, OK. Bye, Ian. Bye, Sarah. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe it. I told you I was going to leave her. I've always said. Said? Yeah. That's not doing it, though, is it? Well, I've done it, believe me. And you're not going to change your mind? This is for real, isn't it? Trace, what I've done I can never, ever go back on. You know they talk about burning your bridges. Well, I've left mine blazing behind me. All the way down the M1. There. Cheers. And don't think this is a celebration. You've only got that because I need a drink. I'm just seeing you again. That's worth celebrating. Are you going to tell me all about your life in Brighton, then? <sighs> What's to tell? I'm living in digs, bed and breakfast, shared bathroom. I tell you, prison cell would have been an upgrade. You could have done better than that, surely. All I could afford. You haven't been working. When I could. There weren't any jobs where you could really make any real money. Could hardly get a reference from my last employer, could I? Look, and it wasn't just that. I felt as though there was no point anymore. As though I'd had everything and I'd gone and thrown it away. And you didn't meet anybody? What, <laughs> woman? No. Any woman came near me, I ran a mile. So, you haven't had his wife turning up on your doorstep? No. Ian says he hasn't heard a word from her, so either she doesn't know where he is or she doesn't care. Or he has heard from her, but he's not telling you. Oh, you just don't want to admit you were wrong, do you, Sarah? You said he'd never leave her, and guess what? He has. So he's told her their marriage is over and that he's met somebody else. Yeah. And she's just said, OK. And that's it. I don't know what she said. People split up all the time, don't they? And sometimes it's a relief. They're glad the other person's gone. Is he getting a divorce? Well, I would imagine. 
But what's the hurry? We're fine as we are. You're fine living with a man who's still married to somebody else. Yeah, I am, actually. Look, maybe we just shouldn't talk about him if you're going to be like this all the time. And what's he going to do for a job? You know as well as I do, he was working for his father-in-law. I mean, finding a new one. Has he done that yet? Well, he's looking. And in the meantime, he's sponging off you. All right, all right, that's it. We just don't talk about him. Because we're only going to fall out if we do. I just don't want you getting hurt, Tracy. And I won't be. Not by Ian. He loves me. And he's proved it. It proves what a lying, dangerous bastard he is, doesn't it? Months and months go by and things are up and down with them, you know? See, they've been arguing. Uh, what, Tracy and the man she was living with? Yeah. Mm. And I was ringing her to see if she's all right, but I couldn't get a reply, so I went round there. And this was what time? Um, about one o'clock. I couldn't go earlier because I was working. Right. And I just had a feeling something was wrong. So I, I broke in and that's when I found her. Out cold, her head cut, lying in a pool of blood. And have you not met anybody else? I suppose I have, yeah. You have? Oh, you didn't think I would? What, you didn't think anybody else would ever fancy me? Or you thought I'd just be sitting here waiting just in case you decided to pop back? I suppose I could never picture you with anybody else. Just as I could never picture me with anybody but you. Always good with the chat-up lines, weren't you? It's true. Anyway, it's not serious. No? Just some man on his own like me. and We've been out a couple of times. Oh, good for you. Trouble is, all I seem to talk about is you. He smiles politely while well, I call you all the names under the sun. Which you're entitled to. Well, he talks about his wife, who died a couple of years ago. It's something I think he resents, as though she walked out on him. Like I did on you. I did make that point, told him how lucky he was, that at least he had happy memories. Well, you said that. No, oh, but it's what I thought. Do you mind if I help myself to another drop? Is my memory playing tricks, or did I not tell you to leave about an hour ago? Well, you did. I did, yeah. But I decided to... Give you, like, the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I'm getting a second chance, am I? Well, I'm hoping that's what you might be giving me. When you broke in and found your sister... Yeah. Uh, the boyfriend, um... What's his name? Ian. Uh, 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 Ian Jackson. He, uh, he wasn't there, was he? Oh, no, he'd gone. Done a runner, hadn't he? Mm. And you say things were patchy in their relationship? Yeah, the cracks were beginning to show. Hey, shouldn't you be getting off to work? What work? Oh, no, Ian, not again. He's been treated like dirt. OK, I know I have to start at the bottom, but there are limits, and the way the guy was ordering me you about... You didn't hit him? No! I was very calm. Oh, makes a change. Yeah, well, I'm getting used to it, aren't I? No. I told him what I thought of his proxy job when I walked out. Do you ever... Oh, no. Do I ever what? Regret leaving her, Lauren. Why are you asking me that? Well, because it meant giving up everything you had. <laughs> Which was what? A miserable marriage and a job where I had a dad keeping a beady eye on me day and night. Yeah, but it was a job and a well-paid one. Not well enough. I just don't think you seem very happy. I'm happy. <laughs> OK, maybe not with everything. Maybe we can't have everything... We can have a better life than this. It'll come. I just need a bit of luck, that's all. I tried telling her. I said, he's left his wife for you. One day he'll leave you for somebody else. But in fact, you think he's gone back to his wife, to, to Lauren? Yes, for the money. The money? I did wonder if you'd ever come back, if I'd ever see you again. Hoping I would, or... Hoping you would, yeah. Then I could kill you. No, I won't blame you. I had a dream once where I actually did it. Stabbed you with a knife. You see, all my dreams are of being back here with you. I love you. I always have. Even when I ran away. <laughs> I proved it, Anna. But why else would I be back here? Why else? Do you know, that's just what I'm wondering. I've come back to find out whether there might still be a chance for me. And there wasn't another reason. Another reason? It wasn't because you found out something. 
Found out something about what? Ian, if you're lying to me, I'll know. I might not have before, but now, I promise you, I will know. Hey, I'm not lying. I can't be, cos I don't know what we're talking about. Something's happened and I don't know what to do. Something bad? To do with Ian, is it? Sort of, yeah. Oh, no, I knew. No, you didn't know. Listen, will you? He's leaving you. Are you going to listen? He's not leaving me. It's just something I found out to do with Lauren. Lauren? His wife, Lauren. Are you saying you haven't kept in touch with anybody up here? I haven't, no. None of your pals you used to go golfing with? <sighs> Nobody. Well, why would I? I imagine word would have got round and they'd have been having a good laugh at my expense. So, what? Come on, love. What, what is it you think that I know that I don't? Now, sit down. I don't want another lecture. And you're not going to get one. Just, I'm going to tell you something and I don't know what you're going to say. Well, I'm sitting. OK. Uh, well, you know I'm on Twitter. Yeah? One of them I follow is... Lauren. Lauren? Your wife, Lauren, yeah. Which I started doing before you moved down here, when I was trying to find out, well, anything I could. I don't mean I've been communicating with her or doing anything behind your back, just sometimes I'd have a look and see what she'd been posting. Go on. Her father, that you used to work for... Him, yeah? He's died. Well, honest. They had the funeral last week. Well, what do you know? I couldn't decide whether to tell you... What did you, he die of? It didn't say. It was just about how grateful she was for all the messages of support and flowers, that sort of thing. So the old man's popped his clogs, has he? I can't believe it. Though it must have been a fair age. Started the firm from nothing, worked his entire life, never took a holiday. How many times did he tell me that? Does she have any brothers or sisters? No. So it'll all come to her. The firm, everything. He doubted on her, did the old man. Never thought I was good enough. He said that? Well, I didn't have to. Well, she'll be on her own now. All on her own and worth a fortune. Oh, you don't know. Well, of course I know. This house will be worth a million, just the house, then there's the business. She might not want that. Yeah, so she'll sell it. Whatever she does, she'll still be rolling in it. You have to feel sorry for her, though. First of all, she loses you and now her dad, all in the same year. Feel sorry for her, yeah. Though I'm sure there'll be plenty around willing to console her, especially when the will's being read out. Dad died three weeks ago. No. You really didn't know? How could I? No, look, I swear. I didn't know. Oh, love. I'm so sorry. I know how close you were. Closer than ever after you went. How old was I? 72. <sighs> Fit. Fitter than me, I always thought. What did he die of? A stroke. They found him in the office, so I suppose it must have been quick. What? And now you're thinking that's why I'm here? Look, I knew he died and that's why I'm here? Oh, no. Honestly, I... I didn't know. How could I? You might have read about it. Well, well, if you know me, read anything. Well, look at it this way. Look, if I had known, I'd have waited longer, wouldn't I? Made it less obvious. Well, cos I'm cunning like that, aren't I? Yeah? I suppose. Oh, I didn't know. Please believe that, if you believe nothing else. OK. So, how are you? He must have been devastating. I couldn't believe it. The world without Dad. And you, all on your own? On my own at his funeral, yeah. I've never missed you as much as I did then. Yeah? Everyone coming up to me, offering the condolences, and I'm standing there with this space beside me where you should have been. Well, I'm here now. There don't have to be that space anymore. I still haven't touched anything in the house, his clothes or anything. No, well... I've been in, but it just feels so weird with him not there, like I'm trespassing. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll do all that for you. We had a big row. What, you, you and... Me and Dad. 
After you'd gone and he told me about the money that was missing. <sighs> that I took. That I stole. And I said he shouldn't have accused you like that and that it was his fault you'd gone. Oh, no. And that he'd done it on purpose. That you going was what he'd wanted all along. No, no. I was upset. I, I didn't know what I was saying, really. Oh, well, that was my fault, nobody else's. What did he say, your dad? He said he was sorry. Asked if there was anything he could do to persuade you to come back. I said I didn't even know where you were. <sighs> See, I'd imagine he'd have been pleased I'd gone. He might be pleased if he's watching now. He was a good man. I liked him. So he was, you know, running the firm now. Nobody. It's supposed to be me, but... Well, because what? It, it'd have left everything to you, really. Everything, yeah. The day after the funeral, I went in, sat at his desk. Then I, I thought, what am I doing? I don't know the first thing. And you know what I did? What? I offered up a little prayer. That if he knew where you were, if he could see you from up there, and would he talk to you and get you to come back? Because I needed you now more than ever. Well, it worked. Cos somebody talked to me. I thought it was me talking to myself, but... Oh, come here. Put your arms around me. I was thinking about Lauren. And you. I could tell just by looking at you. Oh, so you're psychic. So what was I thinking? Do you know that? You're thinking you wish you'd known how rich she was going to be before you left her? I'm thinking we are still married. I'm still her husband. Well, we know that. Which means that whatever she's inherited, I should get half. <laughs> well... Except you haven't set eyes on her for the best part of a year. Don't matter. Doesn't matter. No, legally. We're still man and wife. So what? You're going to write her a letter and say, please send my half of the inheritance to the above address? Come on, love. Nobody's that stupid. I'm not going to write to her. No, but... but suppose, right? It's just an idea, OK? Suppose I go and see her. I go and I apologise for everything. Everything. I tell her how leaving her was the craziest thing that I ever did. That my life's been hell. I can't live without her. But you managed all right until you heard about all the money she's inherited. What money? <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Why would I? She doesn't know that you follow her on Twitter. She hasn't seen hiding the hair of you since last year. Her dad dies, leaving her a fortune, and lo and behold, there you are on her doorstep. Come on, Ian, it'll be obvious. <sighs> Do you have to rubbish all of my ideas? I'm just saying... <sighs> Yeah, she'll wonder about it. Yeah. OK. Yeah, she will. Well, she won't know for sure. And I'll swear on the Bible. I'll swear on whatever she likes that I do not know anything about her dad's death. I shall give the performance of a lifetime. Oh, no. He was such a good man. A man that I looked up to. What a blow it must have been. How's she managing all on her own? She still won't believe you. Look, she's always believed me when I've lied to her before. That was before you left her. I think she might be a bit harder to persuade than she was then. OK. Forget it. Well... We'll just carry on as we are, till we can't pay the rent anymore and we get thrown out and the car stops altogether. We're managing. Are we? Yeah. What? Anyway, I want to do more than just manage. I want to have a business of my own, build something that I can be proud I of. I know you do. For which I need my share of what her dad has left All up. right, all right. You go up there and... Assuming she doesn't throw you straight back out oh, again... Oh, she will. Look, you give me one hour, she'll be down on her knees, Begging me to stay. And will you? For a little while. And then I'll be off to the corner shop again, won't I? Only this time, with enough money for us to move out of this flea pit and start enjoying the good things in life. I think we ought to renew our wedding vows. What, here? In bed? In church. People do. Uh, there's no need, is there? We're still married. Well, I know, but in a way, we're starting again, aren't we? It'd be nice to mark it in some way. Not <laughs> with them that say you're silly having me back. I can hear them already. And you know what? I don't care. Mm. His wife's inherited a load of dosh, and so he's going back to her. Not for good. You haven't been listening. Oh, yes, I have. He feels he should have a share, since he is still her husband. 
And what if he gets his share, but doesn't come back? Well, I've got to trust that he will, haven't I? Oh, Trace. He promised me he will. And I believe him. And if you say, why do I, it's because I have to. Because if I don't, then we're finished anyway. So it was Tracy that told him about his wife's coming into money? Bet she wishes she hadn't. Although, if it hadn't been this, it would have been something else. He's a dangerous man. Which is something else I tried to warn her about, but... So you think there's a good chance he's now back with his wife? And, and, and that's where we'll find him? I'd put money on it. And I think, for her sake, you should find him as soon as you can. We should have a holiday. Just get used to being together again. Got used to it already. Hard to imagine I've ever been away. You could take me to Brighton, show me around all your old haunts. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> Never want to see that place again. I'll tell you what, I'm starving. Are you hungry? Suppose I am, yeah. Right. I shall go and do something about it. It's not going to be a big celebration meal, cos I didn't have much notice. It's past all right. Fabulous. All right if I go and have a shower? Of course it is. It's your house. I can't believe this. You know I doped, but... I tried to stop myself hoping. I'd make resolutions. If he hasn't come back by the weekend, then that's it. Even tried to tell myself I didn't want you back. That was better off a free woman. Maybe you were. Maybe I was. Too late now, though, isn't it? Judging by what you're packing, I'll be lucky if I see you before Christmas. I don't know how long it's going to take, do I? I'll know how your wife felt when you left her. No, you won't. Because you'll know exactly where I am and what I'm doing. And I'll be ringing and texting. Be like before. You never know. Might put a bit of excitement back into things. <sighs> Maybe she'll be doing that for you. Oh, for crying out. Can I just remind you, I'm doing this for you. For me? As in you and me, yeah. I'm doing it for us, you know? It's not going to be easy. Not looking forward to it. No. Do you know what would really help? Knowing you're there for me on the other end of that phone. And is it just the money? Be honest, Ian, is it just the money? Of course it is. What else? You're not thinking you made a mistake, leaving her? No. I don't want you to go. Well, yeah, you've mentioned... Because I don't think you're going to come back. I told you. Why should you? If you can get together with her and the two of you will be all lovey-dovey, you can have all the money you want. No, you won't come back. You know you won't. No, I've left her once. I'll leave her again. No, this time, I am the one you're leaving. It was her last time and now it's my turn. L listen. When you go out of that door, I'm never going to see you again. Yes. You are. I'm going away for a while, and then I'm coming back with the money that we need so that we can have a better life, which I thought you wanted as much as I do. Don't go, Ian, Look, please. I'm going. Look, we've talked about it, and we've decided. You decided? Yeah, all right. I decided, and I'm not changing my mind. So either I go with you wishing me luck, or I go with you complaining and moaning like you're doing now. I'm going to ring her, tell her what you're doing. That wouldn't be very clever. I'm going to ring her and tell her not to believe a word you say because it's all lies. No, no, you won't. And I'll tell you why, shall I? You do, and you won't ever see me again. So think about that. You phone Lauren, and that'll be the end of us. Right. I'm off. Oh. Wish me luck. Oh, OK. Don't bother. It's not going to make any difference. I'm going to ring her the minute you're out of that door. No, you won't! No, c come on, Trace. We both know this is just talk. All right, all right, I'll ring her now. You just watch me. No, stop it! Uh, I said stop uh, it! Uh, now you give me that uh, phone! Uh, well, that, that's not going to stop me, because I can use our Sarah's phone or, or anybody's. You can't break them all! Ian, Ian, don't look at me like that. You're frightening me. Hello? Is that Lauren Jackson? Yes. I'm Tracy's sister. Tracy that your husband's been living with and who is now beaten up and put in hospital. What? So is he sorry, there? I... Your husband, J Ian. Just tell me again. You're who? Tracy's sister. So is he there? Because it's not just me who wants to know, it's the police oh, as well. I've forgotten what a good show is. Is somebody... She says she's Tracy's sister? What? Uh, Look, no. I don't know who you are. Well, but he does. I heard him. 
Toddy's come back no, and they no, couldn't just keep away. Just ignore her. Just take the notice. Well, I'll tell you what he couldn't uh, keep away from. The money. Look, she's a mad woman. Hang up. That's what he's there for. To con you out of the money you've got since look, you died. Give it here. Let me. Look. Uh, Sarah, what the hell is this? You tried to kill my sister, you bastard. You rotten, lousy bastard. Oh, am I? Well, um, it's a good thing you don't have anything else to do with me then, isn't it? She rings again. Don't, don't answer. She's off her head. Who was it? Oh, crazy woman. That's who. That hurt again, innit? Look, um, don't answer it. She says... Look, just switch your phone off, please, love. Just switch it off. And you'll tell me what this is all about, yeah, will you? Yes, of course I will. You promise? I promise. So, go on. OK, right, uh, Look, what it is... I haven't been altogether honest with you. Look, only cos I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. About what? But me and this woman. <laughs> the only oh. I thought we were starting again, putting everything behind us. Well, I thought we were. <sighs> It's called Tracy. Lived in Brighton. I met her, moved in with her. Now I've left her. You met her before you left me or after? After. Go on. Well, that's it. Well, who's this Sarah? And what's this about you putting somebody in hospital? Oh, Sarah's a sister. She's always been against me. Didn't want Tracy to have anything to do with me. She said you tried to kill her sister. Well, she'll say anything. So that's it. No, now you know. But never mind what I know. It's what she knows that I'm interested in. What she knows? She said about Dad dying. How does she know that? Well, not from me. Well, it couldn't be from me, cos, I, I mean, I didn't know myself till you told me. So how did she know? Well, uh, well, let's think. I mean, um, did you put anything in the newspapers or on social media? Or maybe someone else did? And... Oh, on Twitter. Yeah? I put something about the funeral. Well, well that'll be it. Yeah? Mystery solved. What? No, you've put something about the funeral. They've been searching around, trying to find out what they can about me and about you, and then they've concocted this story that that's why I'm back here. You're lying, aren't you? No! You're back here for the money. But, Lauren... Of course you are. It all fits, doesn't it? Dad dies, you find no, out, I swear and now... to you, I'm not here for the money. I'm here for you, which is what I thought you wanted. I did. What? And now this stupid woman rings you? Someone you don't know? You don't know anything about? You don't know what she's like? Suddenly you believe every word she says? She said her sister was in hospital after you had tried to kill her! Oh, I did. What, tried to kill her? Yes! Well, that is a new one, that is. <laughs> Raising the stakes is that one. So she's lying? Yes, yeah, she is. And yeah. you're not? No! I have been trying to believe you since you got here, but you know what? I haven't believed a word you've said since you walked through that door. Oh, come on. I have tried so hard. I told myself, well, what does it matter? Whatever you've done, you don't want me to know. And anyway, it's in the past. All that matters is the future. And it is, yeah, our future. Together. Not going to have one, though, are we? Well, why not? What, because of that call? I've told you, she's a mad woman. I bet you used to tell people I was. No. See, that call, true or not, it reminded me of what living with you was like. Oh, come on. I thought you were hoping and praying that I'd come back. Hoping and praying you'd come back as somebody else. <sighs> All right. Yeah. I suppose some of what I said, look, some of it, I said because I thought it was what you'd want to hear. Oh, sure. And in return, I've told you things I thought you'd want to hear. Like what? Like my dad being sorry that you'd gone. He wasn't. Sorry? No. He was chuffed to bits. Me and you, we're as bad as one another, aren't we? Which is why we belong together. Well, we've had tonight, haven't we? Gives me something to remember that was better than I had before. All right. All right, just... Just give me my share. Give me my share of money. You never set eyes on me again. And if I don't... Just give me my flaming share! Stop there! Don't come any nearer! No, Lauren! Just stay off me! Don't touch me! But what are you just trying to... stop there! Don't come any nearer! Oh, you want me to attack you? Is that what you want? Then it'll prove something to you, will it? Prove you've been right about me all along. The police know exactly when you arrived. They know because I called them, remember? Oh, well, you're safe then, aren't you? Not like Tracy, by the sound of Tracy? it. Tracy? Tracy, who you put in hospital! I put her nowhere. All right, yeah, I grabbed the phone off her. Do you know why? To stop her calling you. She was trying to stop me from coming up here. Because you were coming up here for the money. You knew about Dad's death all along, didn't you? I did, yeah. I knew. I just didn't want to believe it. 
You can believe this, though. As soon as I saw you, do you know the money? It didn't matter. It's an excuse, something I could tell myself I was coming back for, but I want, not really. I was coming back for you. Because I do love you. And I've never loved anyone else. And it was only when I came back here that I realised how much you believe that. I think I do, yeah. I think it's probably the first thing you've said tonight that I do believe. Now leave, Ian. Just get out of this house, please. Well, we can make it. No. Look, wife, for God's sake, well, come you're on. You're frightening me. Look, come here. No. Look, look, Lauren. Look, look what you... Wait. Trace? No. Awful. Well, you're bound to. How did I get here? I broke in. Found you on the floor where I'd left you. Well, who'd left me? Ian. Who do you think? But you don't have to worry about him anymore. Because I've told the police everything. And I've told them they'll find him at his wife's, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's not locked up already. He didn't do it, you know. Didn't do what? This. Put me in this state. Oh, I, I tried to stop him going and we had a row. Trace, you were unconscious. I found you on the floor. Your face all cut in a pool of blood. Cos I'd taken some pills, hadn't I? I remember falling over. I must have banged my head. I couldn't bear him leaving me when I knew he was never going to come back. He didn't try to kill you? Only by leaving me. By not loving me. I'm not sure that counts, though, does it? <laughs> There's an ambulance on its way. I love you. I know you do. I love you too. And you're not leaving me again because I'm not going to let you. Do you hear that? I'm not going to... Ian, I said you're not leaving me again. Not again, not ever. Ian! <laughs> Ian was Jason Doan, Lauren, Sally Carmen, Tracy, Julia Ranthwaite, and Sarah was Rachel Leskovac. The policeman was Stephen Fletcher, and the father and police officer in Brighton, Eric Potts. Reasons for Leaving was written by Peter Worley and directed in Salford by Pauline Harris. If you'd like to receive our newsletter with full details of the week's radio dramas, just search for BBC Radio Drama Newsletter.